rise and shine my dear teacher friends this is dr meenakshi narula from mentoring the mentors an institute that accelerates your learning curve at mentoring the mentors i try my level best what all things i have learned what all strategies i have incorporated in my teaching style during my teaching and at present when i am working as a pedagogical leader i am heading an institute i am also helping my teachers to incorporate these interesting strategies in the classroom so that we can foster student engagement and we can make our teaching learning process engaging enriching and exciting so today i have come up with another amazing strategy a strategy that will help foster that will help enhance students to have expressive vocabulary and will develop their working memory right as i have shared a feedback form in different groups there i have got some of the wonderful suggestions from my dear teacher friends they want me to share some kind of strategies for the english language teachers hindi language teacher i mean to make the language teaching interesting engaging and to help our students enhance their vocab right so today we're going to talk about one such strategy that is nda now what does it stand for nda nda you might have heard this abbreviation when you were talking about you must have listened about read about national defense academy the children they appear for such kinds of tests right but today we're going to talk about a classroom teaching strategy nda nda before we talk about this abbreviation first let me tell you this strategy emphasizes the importance of careful observation close looking as a basis for thinking and interpretation like in our daily classroom teaching we always observe when the students they come across some kinds of images they have to write picture composition they have to describe the objects picture sometimes they feel some kind of difficulty right they do not have uh, you see ample vocabulary to express right they are thinking they feel short of words so to enhance that and even sometimes we feel students they are not able to recall what they have seen just a few minutes ago right or maybe a few hours so that is a very long time to talk about right so when we talk about enhancing their memory and fostering their vocab as well right we will be discussing about nda strategy n n stands for name d stands for describe a stands for act we will be talking about all these terms in detail when we ask our students i was just talking about when we ask our students to recall an image that is being taken away from them what happens this talking if we ask our students to just visualize an image for some time what uh, and after that they need to recall what have they seen in the image what they have noted down students first they have to rely on their working memory i mean what all stuff is present they can hold in their heads and our recall from the memory is one thing that begins to lock short term memories into long term memories right so therefore i in my last strategy in my last video also i talked about retrieval practice that is very good study technique whatever we have learned what where we have seen earlier we need to retrieve the same thing bring the same thing into our mind right if we want to convert our short term memory into long term memory right and visualization and imagery can be the powerful study techniques right when we see something and then we visualize again we bring the same into our mind we will be talking about this in detail so before we begin with this nda that is name describe and act strategy what we have to do we have to create a setup right 
In that, we have to choose any image to examine closely. Usually we give such kinds of images to our students when they have to write picture composition, they have to describe a scene, right? And they have to describe certain objects. We have to show that image, either that can be created on a chart paper, big chart paper, you can combine four or five chart papers. If you're good at drawing, you can draw the same. Or if you have in your classroom a projector, you have a smart board, you can show the images on the smart board to your student. So one image, if you have shown that is a particular scene, it can be a garden scene, park scene, classroom scene, uh, I mean, railway station scene, any of the picture that you are showing to your students, make your students to watch carefully the picture for one minute. Or maybe if they are, I mean, of the younger children, right, junior grades, you may give two minutes, three minutes, depending upon that, but make sure your students, they will not be pending down anything. They will not be using pen and paper to jot down the points. What are they visualizing? They just have to see one minute, two minutes. They're observing carefully the picture that is being displayed on the screen. Then remove it from the site, right? Maybe you can use a PowerPoint presentation. You can download some of the pictures from internet. If you can use, if you can even scan the pictures from their books as well, you can. That also you can show it on the screen through a document scanner, right? Or you can already, you can, uh, you see, embed those pictures in your PPT and show it to your students, right? In any of the form, you can show the pictures to them. Now, working from memory. Now, give them some time after that to recall name the first letter of this abbreviation that is NDA, the first letter N stands for name. What they have to do in this process, in this step, they have to make a list of all the parts or the features that they can remember. These uh, will most probably be like nouns, okay? So they have to write some nouns, right? Um, like for example, if they are visualizing in a picture something like as you can see right now on the screen, you can see a few words, you can see a picture, right? You can see a logo. So these are the nouns, okay? They have to jot down what all nouns are visible on the screen, right? And this will be discussing in detail with an example also, right? When, once you get to know about all the terms, now, the second step, D, describe. What you have to do in this step? For each of the things that the students they have named, now in the second step, ask them to add description. Description is not required to be actually a detailed one. They have to use describing words, that is adjectives for each noun that they have mentioned. So you can allot them timings. For example, you have given them, okay, for one minute, for two minutes, they have to observe the picture, then give them some time to recall and jot down the nouns. You can give, okay, time to them, two, three minutes, they can jot down the nouns and they can switch to another column that is described. I mean, they can make three columns on a piece of paper, name, describe, and act. N, D, A, right? In the first column, they have written the nouns that they noticed that they can recall from the screen, right? From visualization, right? And then afterwards, they need to describe those nouns, right? So for each of the things, you have to name, add a description. What adjectives could you add to the nouns you have listed, right? So now moving on to the third step, act, NDA, act, right? What do they have to do in this step? For each of the things that the children they have named, now they have to act. I mean, for the little ones, you may ask your children to act or perform. That is one thing. Because when you are conducting this activity with the lower grades, with the children, they are not able to write, frame, sentences or maybe words and all, there you can conduct this strategy. You can use this strategy as, I mean, in the verbal form, in the oral form. They can just describe 
they can speak out and they can act as a kind of role play. Okay, now they have to express and act what are they doing in that particular picture, any of the objects that they have seen, what is their function, how these small, small parts are contributing to the whole picture, right? How these things, these pictures, they are related to each other, right? Now, it depends if you want them to describe in detail of the higher grades, that's perfectly okay. If you are dealing with the prime living and all, you want them to express the same in only verbs, right? Helping verbs, action verbs. They just want to write what is happening. Most probably they'll be using the action verbs or so doing verb that is perfectly fine. And for the lower grades, you can ask them to act or role play. So this is all about NDA. Now here I have uh, a picture for you. Okay, look at the picture. I mean, now I'm showing you this picture. So you can also display any picture on the screen for your student for a minute and then ask them to observe it very, very closely. So as and when one minute is over, you please remove the image from the screen and then ask them to write, to name a few words to make a list that they can recall from the image. Now, what will happen? Students, they'll write some of the words that they are already in their head. They quickly pen it down. And then with a little stress, when they'll be able to bring the image back into their mind, they'll be able to recall some more nouns. For example, in the previous image, students have to list these kinds of names, bicycle, slide, tree, children, cap, flowers, grass. So quickly, they're able to jot it down or maybe with little stress when they will put on their mind, right? And this will help develop their memory skills as well. Okay, now after that, ask them to move to the second step. They have to write the words to describe the nouns. That is describing words, adjectives. For bicycle, suppose I have listed here the color pink, small. For the slide, I have mentioned color purple. I am not able to recall anything else quickly. Tree, okay, many number, big size. Children, many number, cap, colorful. Flowers, white, grass. I could see heap of the grass over there, right? So I have written the describing words over there. Now coming to act. In act, I will be able to give some kinds of verbs or it can be sentences to describe in detail the actions actually, like name, describe, Act. Name is for nouns, describe is for adjectives, but here the children, they can make some kinds of mistakes as well. Like for example, I have made a mistake, grass, I have mentioned heap. It's a heap of grass, right? It um, Heap is a noun. They can also talk about, it's a green in color, maybe some yellow grass blades are there, anything they can write. It depends upon them how they are writing because they want to describe any kind of word that is helping them to frame the action words or the phrases or the sentences in the third step. So bicycle, pink, small, on the walkway, slide, purple, okay, children enjoying, trees, uh, they're enhancing the aesthetic look of the park, and children, they are playing, and one child looked scared, scared because it was on a hanging swing, it's a kind of Burma bridge, right? And uh, caps, caps, uh, I can understand like the children, they were wearing caps, must be a sunny day. And children, they wore caps to protect themselves from scorching heat and flowers, white flowers, they were there on the ground. Grass, the grass has been mowed or uh, cut to an even height. Right? We could see the heaps of grass. So children, they can explain. This is how they will be able to develop their picture composition, moving from nouns to adjectives and then verbs or the statements, phrases, sentences, right? 
Now, if we talk about the purpose of this strategy, I have mentioned a few points over here. See, working with an image, this routine, this strategy helps students to notice and describe an image in ever increasing layers in detail. See, they are developing layers one above another. First, they are highlighting the nouns and they are writing about the adjectives and they are writing the verbs, okay? Now, how it is different from a routine picture composition? In that routine, what happens is when we are sharing the picture, the children, they are just observing the picture and noting it down. It is not enhancing their memory. Here, the children, they are recalling it from the memory, right? And it is enhancing their skill. They'll try to observe the images very carefully from the next time, okay? And for young children or for the students learning another language, this routine can be very helpful to build language proficiency. Here in India, our children, they are learning English as a second language, right? I mean, obviously we are the ESLs. Uh, English is not our mother tongue. It's not our official language as an unknown. Hindi is our official language. In offices, we are using English as well, Hindi and English in parallel, but most of us are not feeling comfortable in talking in English. We are not fluent somewhere. We feel short of words when we are talking in English. So if we want our students to build their language proficiency, we can use this routine in our classroom. And it can be done in groups or individually. Right? It's up to you how you want to conduct this strategy. If you are conducting this in uh, groups, what will happen? The children, first they'll jot down the points, the nouns, describing uh, the, those words. And then even together, when you are following the routine, think, pair, share, they are working together, sharing the list with each other, and maybe talking about the descriptors that they have used. And then together they can form the action words and together they can present a picture, composition, or maybe description that they have given to the scene together, right? So we are focusing on collaboration as well, along with language proficiency, along with memory skills, right? So this routine can be a standalone activity when you can conduct this activity as a game also. Sometimes our children, they are not in a mood to study and you want them to teach in a fun and engaging manner. You can conduct such activity even as a game to enhance students' ability to look slowly, observe closely and utilize memory. So before we end today's strategy discussion, let's quickly uh, recap, have a recap for this strategy. First of all, set up. You need to create a setup when you have to finalize the picture that you're gonna discuss with your students that you wanna show it to students. For this, make sure you are not using the picture that you have already discussed in the class, right? You should use a brand new picture if you want to create their interest, if you want to really see the enthusiasm in the class, right? And the second step when we are talking about Noun, that is naming strategy, name. Ask your students to name in writing from the memory as many things as they can remember, they can recall from the image, right? A uh, useful prompt is to name the things you could actually put your finger on the things, like right? these kinds of nouns they can recall. And after that, they have to put a little stress on the memory, they can bring those images back to their mind. They can recall, they can retrieve, and they have to jot down some of the other nouns. Now coming to the second point that is described. Now you can ask your students to describe each of the objects that they have named, right? Through one or two adjectives, that is describing words, right? Stress the use of adjectives only. Don't ask them to go for complete sentences, right? Um, as I've explained to you through an example as well, right? And now they should use the adjectives uh, to describe, as I've already shown you, like tall, large, imposing, and only these kinds of words to be written. Please note 
that their memory is enhanced and built through this usage and they need to maybe struggle a bit to recall right and it's not bad at all if they are struggling a lot to recall let it be because in the longer run it will help to enhance their memory skill now coming to the third step that is act ask your students to tell how each of the name object they are acting they are affecting each other how the small parts in a scene they are affecting they are related to each other this will stretch their vocab depending on the image or instruction on the focus like they might uh you see extend beyond the question i mean what are they doing you can ask such kind of questions to them what is a function like how do they add or contribute to the whole how are they related to each other so such questions can be answered in this step that is act now when they have done this you have to put the image back display the image back on the screen right and the students are often eager to see the image again because they want to confirm their observational memories put it up allow your students to talk informally and uh, typically you can even make them sit in groups they can share also they can you can go for peer checking peer review as well can be done right in groups they can check they can assess each other work so this can be done and after that sharing the thinking if students they have done this routine individually you can ask them to come forward and share their picture composition their description or maybe if they are working in pairs they will be explaining their description to each other in pairs or maybe collaboratively they can present in front of the entire class so this is how the same is being done but make sure let me tell you this strategy is really really helpful right not only for improving their vocab but also uh, helping them to observe i mean the image deeply right and just they are not focusing on the immediate surface features right they slowly and gradually they'll understand how to observe the pictures very very carefully and deeply so do work on it use this strategy in your class because you will also be uh, assessing the students through the strategy you will get to know what kind of words they are using in the class to describe to name to act so this is how you will be able to use this strategy to enhance your students vocabulary right make sure you use it and don't forget to share your responses in the comment section below dear teachers when i'm sharing these strategies with you i would really love to see like when you are using this strategy you are sharing your experience with me now today you'll be using nda strategy name describe act thanks for today thanks for watching my videos and for your wonderful response wonderful comments thanks once again